Oklahoma State's Lindy Waters three shoots during the first half of the Cowboys game against Texas Tech Wednesday night in Lubbock, Texas. The Red Raiders won 84-80. AP photo, Brad Tollefson, behind a final minute for the ages, Lindy Waters carried Oklahoma State to the brink Wednesday night. The Cowboys fell in overtime, 84-80, at no. 11 Texas Tech, with Waters four three-pointers in regulation's final minute forcing the extra period and another tying the game during it. But Osu, down to seven scholarship players, didn't have enough to finish the upset. Here are three takeaways from Wednesday's overtime contest, Lindy late, dizzy early the final minute of regulation belonged to Waters. Waters made four straight three-pointers in the final 55 seconds, the last tying the game at 71 at the buzzer. He then hit another during the period to even the score at 78. Waters finished the game with career highs in points, 26, three-pointers, 7, and minutes, 44. Waters carried the Cowboys in the second half, but the early portion belonged to Thomas Giagua. For the third time in four games, Giagua scored at least 20 points on at least six three-pointers. The performance pushed him to sixth in program history for single-season threes. After the duo of captains tied a season low with two three-pointers between them in Saturday's loss to Kansas State, they combined to go 13 for 19 from deep Wednesday. Osu as whole made a program record 17 threes, surpassing the previous mark of 15. Dynamic D.D. Mitchell's last name is not on the back of his no. 31 jersey, but with a shot in Wednesday's game, he put Osu on his back. Mitchell, one of five walk-ons added to the roster since mid-January, sank a go-ahead three-pointer with 3.35 left in regulation. His first basket at Osu completed a 10-point run to put the Cowboys ahead 59-58. Osu once trailed by 14 and never led until Mitchell's three-pointer, but the lead was short-lived. The Red Raiders answered with seven straight points and never fell behind again. In overtime, Mitchell was fouled on a three-point attempt, making two of his foul shots. He finished with five points in 12 minutes. Osu led for only 17 seconds Wednesday, that lead coming from a walk-on out of Jefferson, Texas, who wasn't added to the roster until two weeks ago. McGriff's struggles continue before Cam McGriff opened the Cowboys' overtime scoring with a jumper, Waters made as many three-pointers in the last minute of regulation as McGriff had made baskets in the past four games. In OSU's matchup with the Red Raiders two weeks ago, McGriff made six baskets, but after a 2-for-11 shooting performance Wednesday, McGriff is 5-for-32 from the floor in the four games since. Coach Mike Boynton had said McGriff is not 100%, but that doesn't fully explain a questionable three-point attempt with 25 seconds left in overtime. Had it fallen, the Cowboys would have taken their second lead. Related photos 4-7 Oklahoma State's Yorin A, 14, shoots over Texas Tech's Tara Owens, 11, during the Red Raiders' 84-80 win Wednesday night in Lubbock, Texas. AP photo, Brad Tollefson, Oklahoma State coach Mike Boynton Jr. Argues a call with referee Jeb Hartness during the second half of the team's NCAA college basketball game against Texas Tech, Wednesday, February 27, 2019, in Lubbock, Texas. AP photo, Brad Tollefson, Texas Tech coach Chris Beard tries to get the crowd to yell during the second half of the team's NCAA college basketball game against Oklahoma State, Wednesday, February. 27, 2019, in Lubbock, Texas. AP photo, Brad Tollefson, Oklahoma State's Lindy Waters, 3, 21, celebrates, after scoring a three-pointer to send the NCAA college basketball game against Texas Tech in overtime Wednesday, February 27, 2019, in Lubbock, Texas. P photo, Brad Tollefson, Texas Tech's Jared Culver, 23, shoots over Oklahoma State's Lindy Water 3, 21, during the first half of an NCAA college basketball game Wednesday, February 27, 2019, in Lubbock, Texas. 
AP Photo, Brad Tollefson, Texas Tech coach Chris Beard talks to Jared Culver during the first half of the team's NCAA college basketball game against Oklahoma State, Wednesday, February 27, 2019, in Lubbock, Texas. AP Photo, Brad Tollefson, Oklahoma State's Thomas Giagua shoots a three-pointer during the first half of the team's NCAA college basketball game against Texas Tech, Wednesday, February 27, 2019, in Lubbock, Texas, AP Photo, Brad Tollefson, Oklahoma State's Lindy Water 3 shoots during the first half of the team's NCAA college basketball game against Texas Tech, Wednesday, Feb. 27, 2019, in Lubbock, Texas. AP Photo, Brad Tollefson, Texas Tech's Tara Goins hangs from the rim after dunking during the first half of the team's NCAA college basketball game against Oklahoma State, Wednesday, Feb. 27, 2019, in Lubbock, Texas. AP Photo, Brad Tollefson, Oklahoma State's Yorane, 14, shoots over Texas Tech's Tara Goins, 11, during the first half of an NCAA college basketball game Wednesday, Feb. 27, 2019, in Lubbock, Texas. AP Photo, Brad Tollefson, Oklahoma State's Lindy Waters, 3 shoots during the first half of the Cowboys game against Texas Tech Wednesday night in Lubbock, Texas. The Red Raiders 184-80. AP Photo, Brad Tollefson, a native of Reno, Nevada, Nathan Ruiz joined the Oklahoman in 2018 as an Oklahoma State beat writer. A former intern with the Oklahoman, Ruiz graduated from Oklahoma State in May of 2017 and also had internships with the Reno Gazette Journal. Read more comments.